blood on her hands. She used her power to take lives. How can it be a good thing? Her cause was noble, but her means were inexcusable. No more a mother of the nation than Stalin was the father of the Soviet Union. There are some people we should mourn for their compassion, empathy, and contribution to society, and some whom we must be glad to see the back of, he says. That harsh, or is that just about the long and short of it? Let's see, Michael Turner in Burnham on Sea, Somerset. You've met them both, Winnie and Nelson. Yes, I did. It was the best day of my life, Jeremy. February the 23rd, 1990, Mandela had only been out of prison for 12 days. Oh, right. So were you a tourist or a government business or what? No, I'm a school teacher. I'm a supply teacher now, and I was hitchhiking around South Africa photographing the voyages of Sir Francis Drake, and I flew to Johannesburg, and this man said, you can stay in my house, and you can have my driver to take you anywhere you want. So I said, take me, please, to the Mandela bungalow. I was there at 9.30. I was the only person who managed to get into the garden who wasn't a member of the media. And I spoke to Winnie Mandela on the veranda doorstep, where you see on the BBC clips of the football team jumping up and down in the garden, and I had 12 minutes talking to her, recorded an interview for the school children, and she was extremely gracious, very generous with her time. She was full of laughter, and she gave me full and detailed answers, as though I were working for the BBC as opposed to being a school teacher wanting to embellish school lessons on apartheid, which we used to teach in those days. Oh, amazing. So have you still got the tape? Yes, it's on CD. I played it through twice, and I wrote down some points for BurnhamOnSea.com, and the local press have taken a great interest because it was a great scoop. It was like, it was the best day of my life, and she spoke about the support she gave her husband. She only spent three months with him before his final imprisonment, and she told me why he was so eloquent, and she gave me the dress that school children could write to, and she was always receiving letters from young people in Britain. She was very jovial. I suggested to her how power could be transferred through an electoral system. She agreed. She spoke to me about the list of prisons that Nelson had been into, and that she, she, could, she could only see snatches of the Mandela concert from London, but she had a lot of fans in England who sent her VHS videos of the entire concert, so she was very grateful for that. And I've told a story on my YouTube channel, Michael Turner, with pictures of the great day. Thank you very much, Michael. She sold a